Well, here we have the Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper 132nd scale all plastic assembly kit from Mobius Models. This is a new release from Mobius, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of these around the net recently. Uh, this comes from the original series. This kit is a skill level three. So what that means in terms of the difficulty in putting it together, uh, you should have some skills as a modeler to put this together. But uh, let's open it up. We've already taken off the plastic wrap. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right. So we're going to take off the lid. Now there's some nice artwork on it. It's pretty standard stuff. We're going to move that along. We've got your standard instructions. There we go. And then we've got some really nice package stuff. First, we have a bag of clear parts. This uh, looks like the stand and the inner engines. Put that off to the side. Then our first bag of parts looks like we've got the engine intakes, the engine exhaust, uh, some parts for uh, the landing gear as well as the landing gear. Then we come to the fuselage and the guns as well as the upper fin and a figure. In this case, the figure has a missing arm. Oh, there it is. It's just off the sprue. It's in the, it is in the plastic itself, but it is off the sprue. Not a big deal. Um, now let's uh, get to the last bag. And the last bag has uh, the center section for the engines, as well as the bottom of the fuselage, the nose cone, and uh, the wings that we'll be attaching the guns to. All right, so push that aside. What else is in the box? We have a nice little print that you can frame. This is a Ralph McQuarrie print. Uh, this is the pre-production painting by Ralph McQuarrie, a Colonial Viper show and landing mode on an alien planet. Now, this comes from the Battlestar Galactica 35th anniversary, art prints and more, and you can visit them at uh, dreamsandvisionspress.com to get yourself 10% off a 35th anniversary print. So if you want that, and then finally we have the decals. Pretty standard. Uh, the decals come in two different uh, sizes, so they're. I'm sure in the instructions they tell you exactly how to uh, put these on for the two difference. On the back of the box, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, just some standard artwork, a little bit about the Viper on the back. Uh, it also shows two other kits that are still yet to be released which is the original series Battlestar Galactica and the Cylon Raider. So not too terribly bad. Put that aside. Let's start opening up some of the bags, and we'll see exactly what kind of quality we have on the plastic. So we'll take that. Never cut towards yourself like I just did because you could cut yourself. So we'll take out this. And on this first sprue, we have the wings. Now, as we examine the wings, we see that it's got pretty decent detail. Um, the line, the cut lines or the scribe lines are fairly deep and wide, but that might just be because that's what they were looking for. It's fairly accurate to the original studio model. They did a lot of research on this kit, uh, to get it just right. Unlike the old Ravel and, uh, monogram kits of the past, uh, taking a look at this sprue again, we've got some really nice detail on the parts. Looks like it's going to go together fairly smoothly. We have our joystick right here. Uh, we have the engine intakes, and then we also have the front intake here on the front of the ship. All right, so let's move that off to the side and move on to the next one, which is the fuselage. Now, let's uh, hope we don't lose the little piece on that is floating around inside the bag that has come off, which is the pilot's arm. And there it is there. Now, on the pilot's arm, he's holding the joystick. Um, not my preferred, uh, setup, but, uh, you know, it all depends on, on how you want to build it. Detail on the pilot's body, not too terribly bad. Um, the other hand is kind of open and flat. They have the pilot's head here as well inside the Cylon helmet. Now I have heard that you can get this in an aftermarket kit where this helmet is clear. So if you wanted to do some lighting work in the helmet, you possibly could. Uh, good detail, very, very little to no flash on the parts themselves. Um, looks like this is going to be a pretty easy kit to build. This is the second time we've seen a cockpit on a kit like this. 
I believe the first one was the 35th anniversary edition or the, uh, yeah, the 35th anniversary edition came with a cockpit. Very nicely detailed. There's aftermarket available from Paragraphics for this uh, aftermarket photo etch for this cockpit. So uh, definitely the guns lack a little bit of detail, but, you know, they're better guns than we saw on the older kits as well. Move that aside. Uh, let's get into the engines. I'm going to avoid opening up the clear parts just because I don't want those to get scratched. But uh, here's our, our last two trees. And the detail is very, very crisp on these engine exhaust as well as the intakes. Um, nice detail on the bottom as well. Again, no flash, which is very, very good. So cleaning these parts is going to be fairly easy. Uh, nice detail on the landing gear. This is uh, one of the few times that we've seen really good uh, skid-style landing gear and really, really enjoy that, and it's good to see. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. Again, like with any kit, you always want to look at the instructions and read them fully. Now, this is a fairly thick set of instructions. has some good assembly tips on it. Uh, we also can see from the beginning, we start with the pilot, we go into the cockpit, then we start building out the fuselage. This kit looks like it's going to be fairly easy to light. Everything's well laid out. They give you a painting guide, and uh, they also give you deco um, instructions. That comes with a clear stand. If you're lighting this kit, you may want to put it on your own stand. But there we have it, the 132nd scale Colonial Viper Battlestar Galactica from Mobius model kits. Go check it out today. Pick one up for yourself if you are a fan of Battlestar Galactica.